Hello everyone. My name is Daniel Dimov. I am from Kaspersky. Our team deals with different projects for internal customers. Today I tell you about one of this project. Let's start from description of the task. Kaspersky MDR is a name for the full pipeline as a service. There are Kaspersky endpoint engine software at clients' workstations. Events from key EA are saved at KSN, Kaspersky Security Network. After that, special team, SOC analysts, investigates these events. I'm not very familiar with all this pipeline, so to find more detailed information about these tools and services, you can follow links at the next slide. Uh, here are some more information about MDR as a service uh, and some of its parts, like KSN, SOC. Uh, let's look at uh, events processing pipeline steps. KA keeps logs from workstation as events. There are hunts, rules that highlight some events, a sequence of highlighted events from the same workstation aggregates as alert. Uh, analysts investigate alerts combining linked alerts as case. Uh, cases can be closed as ignored or can be converted to incident. After interaction with client, incident is closed as true or false. In case of true verdict, client receives information about what actions can be taken. So each alert can be closed as ignored, false, or true. Uh, consider false and ignored together as false versus true verdicts. Long story short, we aggregate events to alerts, alerts to cases, and have verdicts on the cases. Are they suspicious or not? Let's look at statistics. Uh, there are about a few thousands alerts a day. The share of true, alert, of true verdicts is about one to five persons, and uh, the share of alerts without incidents is 30 70 persons. We can notice imbalance of classes. So we have problems. Uh, analysts work a lot with not true incidents. They waste the largest part of their time at false and ignored alerts. Even if taken into account that ignored alerts need less time than alerts converted to incidents. So on the one hand, we want to decrease costs. On the other hand, we want to increase MDR throughput capacity. So we need machine learning. Let's look how we apply our model. We train model using label historical data to predict analyst verdict. True is one, false or ignored is zero. Model output is between zero and one. Because of imbalance of classes, we can't use model instead of analysts, but we can help them. So the first question is how to apply the model in workflow. Um, first idea was to add some hint for analysts at their tools. The experiment showed that presence of model score doesn't accelerate their work. Second idea was to rank alerts. We put it aside because there was no such problem as increasement of alerts at that moment. And the third idea was to filter alerts. We close alerts with low model score under some threshold as false. And we get this pipeline. After aggregation of events as alert, our model closes the least suspicious suspicious alerts as false. With help of uh, ML, we we'll filter some part of alerts and give the rest to analysts. And we get such quality. Model filters now about 35% of the alerts and actual TPR is about 98, 99%. Here we deal with TPR, where true class is one and false class is zero. Let's take a closer look at our data. 
the iron can consist of a few events. Each event can have some features in the key value format. Value can be of different types, such as numbers, lists, strings, hashes, dates. You see examples here. Uh, pay attention at feature user description. Oh, sorry. Uh, pay attention at feature user description. It is a client's name. This allows model to consider this information and to tune uh, for each client. So, uh, we need aggregation because verdicts are based on alerts uh, and we need to aggregate features from different events. Consider possible approaches. Uh, firstly, we prepare features as follows. Let each event has three fields. For example, F1, F2, F3. Each can take values A or B. For each field and value, count the frequency in this alert, in all events. So we transform alert with first event if one is equal to A, and with second event if one is A, F2 is A, F3 is B, to the feature vector which is shown here. You can see that uh, for key and value F1 and A, we have uh, num numeric value one because F1 and A uh, is, uh, f because F1 have the same value A in the both events. And for example, uh, F2 uh, have no, has no uh, values at the first event, uh, so uh, F2 and A get uh, the numeric value 0 0.5. Uh, here all values are between uh, 0 and 1. And these feature vectors we can consider as input data for any model. Uh, because actually we have hundreds of fields and hundreds of their values, transformed feature vectors were very long and sparse, about hundreds of thousands of coordinates. Now we use different approach. Let each event has three fields. As earlier, F1, F2, F3, and they take values uh, A or B. Uh, and now we know that in trained data set for each field, value A occurs more frequently than value B. And for each field in the alert, we choose the most totally frequent value from events in the alert. For example, the same alert, F1 is A and so on, transforms uh, to uh, aggregated uh, vector F1 is A, F2 is A, F3 is B. Because for F1, we have both values A and B and choose A. For F2, we uh, have uh, only value A and choose A. And for F3, we have only B, so we choose B. Uh, the feature vectors we can consider as input data for cut boost because they are categorical. So now we have uh, two or three hundreds of categorical features. And current approach is definitely better than the old one. Uh, but now we investigate and compare others. Uh, current approach with different aggregation methods. Uh, First few events without any aggregation, uh, all events as sequence for R and N. Also now we use categorical features or convert every, everything for, to them. Uh, but we experiment with other type of features like text, numbers, and possible ways to aggregate them. Uh, let's talk a, uh, a few words about our metrics. We choose filter ratio, how many alerts we want to close. Then model choose threshold based on scores distribution. Uh, and alerts with scores 
above this threshold we interpret as one true and adults with scores below we interpret as zero e, uh, and we filter adults below threshold so we get two natural metrics tpr and fpr uh, for the current filter ratio 35 persons uh, tpr is about 90 uh, 8 99%. Actually, because of imbalance of classes, FPR is close to filter ratio and is not so interesting. So, uh, during model training and validation, we count TPR for different possible filter ratios. Let's look at the details of using the model as a service. We realize our service as REST API. Um, more about our infrastructure, you can learn from my colleague's speech at SysML track. Uh, our service uh, input is alert and filter ratio. Desired share of stream to close is false. And output is verdict uh, to filter this alert or not. There is problem. We have no real labels for the alerts closed by model, the alerts below the threshold. So we need some recheck. Actually, we choose threshold with some gap to give some alerts below it to the analysts too. This allows us to evaluate the quality of our model and monitor real verdicts for part of alerts below the threshold. For example, let's filter ratio is uh, 0 0.3 and recheck ratio is 0 0.15. Uh, then we choose threshold to have below 35.3 persons of alerts. And random 15 persons of these alerts we give to analysts. So eventually we get 30 persons of all alerts closed by the model as we want with this filter ratio. About the check ratio, I may add that we selected value to measure our quality with given possible error for given data size. Uh, as mentioned earlier, model select threshold for given filter ratio using scores distribution. Actually, model choose it independently for each client or user. Uh, model collects scores distribution for each client and select threshold value dependent of client. Moreover, because we can give different filter ratio for different API requests, we can customize actual share of others to filter for each client. Now, model closes about 35% of alerts. These alerts are the simplest, so we save about 30% of analysts' work time, because the most laborious alerts for analysts are alerts with true verdicts. But the customer is satisfied. Our plan is to tune model to close with the same quality 50% of alerts. Thank you for your attention. Uh, now I think we have a question part and in case if you have more questions to discuss, you can contact me by my corporate email.